Okay, good afternoon. My name is Judy, and our Bible study for this week is Matthew 9. Now, Jesus is staying at Peter's house in a small village in the countryside. Peter's neighbors hear that Jesus is there, so they come, they want to see him, they want to hear him. And then the word spreads throughout the village and to the countryside, and more and more people come to see Jesus, which is good. But soon the house is so full, nobody else can get in, and the crowd spills out into the front yard. Now, there's one man living nearby who especially is eager to see Jesus. This man is paralyzed. He can't walk, he can't sit, he can't feed himself. Others have to do everything for him. You see, the people back then were told, if you had an illness like this man, that meant God was really displeased with you. And he had no peace in his life. He was so discouraged and depressed. And this was his biggest problem, and this was his bigger need than his paralysis. Soon he starts to hear some rumors or some stories about a new teacher in the area named Jesus. And this teacher is teaching that God loves everybody. God wants everyone in his family, and anyone who comes to God will not be turned away. And the man thinks, oh man, if I could just get to see Jesus. Now he has four friends who have the same hope. And so they get together and they come up with a plan of how they're gonna get this man to see Jesus. So they put the man on a mat and each one of the four friends takes a corner and lifts him and starts off on their journey to Peter's house. Now it's slow and difficult and there's probably herds of cattle and sheep going across the road. So they're going very slowly but the closer they get to Peter's house, the man's faith and hope becomes bigger and bigger. The crowd is also getting bigger and bigger. So by the time our friends get there, they can't even see the front door, let alone get near it. They go around, the windows are just as bad, just as crowded, but they've come so far, they are so close to Jesus. This man is so close to hearing the blessing he needs. They are not giving up. And then one of the friends looks up and he gets an idea. And he says to his friends, to the roof. And they start tearing a hole in the roof. How rude, they're tearing apart Peter's roof. But no obstacle is gonna keep them from Jesus, not even Peter's roof. So they keep trying to tear this hole in it. Pretty soon it's big enough and they can let the man down through the hole and he comes right in front of Jesus at Jesus' feet. And Jesus looks at the man and he sees the anguish in his face and the suffering. And the man looks at Jesus and he sees love and gentleness and compassion. And Jesus says to the man, take heart, my son, your sins are forgiven. Oh, the man just, this is what he's wanted to hear. This is what he came for. He is so relieved. And even the people in the crowd notice he looks more content and peaceful already. And he's thinking, God does love me. He does want me part of his family. Because Jesus had called him son. I'm part of the family of God. I'm not hopeless. I can face anything now, even my paralysis, now that I have the peace of God. Well, now there's some people in the crowd who are not happy with this miracle. And they're very jealous of Jesus' popularity. So the priests, the scribes, and the Pharisees will say, you can't forgive sins, only God can do that. Well, knowing this, Jesus next turns to the man and to show that the good news that he has been teaching is from God, Jesus says to the man, get up, take your mat, and go home. The man who was content with the miracle of the peace that he got and the love of God and the assurance of his salvation he gets a bonus miracle, and his friends, who are probably still on the roof and have seen all this through a hole in the roof, almost fall over themselves in their haste to get down the stairs and join their friend in praising God and singing and dancing and giving each other high fives all around. And the mat, the mat that carried the man, is now carried by the man. Now, we have our three questions for the week. The first question, what were some of the problems the paralyzed man had in trying to get to Jesus and how were these problems solved? Second one is a toughie. There were several different groups of people in the audience that day. How did people in each different group react to what Jesus had done? And the third question, what do you learn about Jesus from reading this story? So there it is for the week. Have a happy Bible study.